I really started with like with life first. Mm. Like I started trusting my instinct through life and it just started building. So the type of music I make, it'd be like, no, nah, I ain't gonna say that, I'm gonna say this, or I'm gonna change the tempo, I'm gonna change this beat up. I don't wanna say this, I don't wanna disrespect this. I wanna like, I control myself now mm -hmm. instead of everybody around me controlling me. All my life. To keep me down all this time never thought I'd make it out I've never been here before but you hang out at this space a lot yeah yeah it's my little chill spot I little. come come relax you know I'm saying a lot of activities I know you like to hoop so you're definitely playing ball in your hair right yeah you got a baseball court over there they got skating boxing do you skate? The skateboard ramp definitely makes me a little nervous. No, I tried it, but I ain't gonna hurt myself. <laughs> I think that's, that's smart. It's a nice little chill out spot, I like it. Dirk, what's up? How you feeling? How are you feeling? Good, super good. Yeah, you know what? I rarely get to talk to an artist once the album is actually out. Yeah. So I'm glad we actually we have to, we get to have this conversation right now. How are you feeling with Almost Healed being out and seeing the reaction from your fans? I feel super good. Um, I'm seeing a reaction that I ain't seen before in a long time. Um, new fans, uh, a lot of positive um, social media things going on. You mean like people getting the album cover art tattooed on their arms? Cause that's pretty, yeah, yeah, that's they, pretty uh, positive. Yeah, when I seen that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And they had it like, made me wish that was my album cover. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a great album cover, and I just want to say congratulations because I know you've been working hard for so long. And right now, everywhere I drive in New York, mm -hmm. people have the windows rolled down and they're blasting all my life through the yeah. streets of New York. It's pretty incredible. That must feel amazing. Yeah, shout out J. Cole. Um, yeah, like I say, that feeling just, like, even just to have that type of music out. You know what I'm saying? Just on a positive level, it's like, feels super, super good. I know you're probably not spending your day-to-day -day thinking about all the moves you've been making in the past, but I want to take you back 10 years. Do you remember what was going on in your life in 2013? Because you also had, I would say, a pretty big breakout record for you at that point, to sing what you want. But yeah. that was such a different time period in your life. At that yeah. point, you were talking about feeling stressed that, you know, police were shutting down shows in your hometown and now look where you are to have a track like All My Life. It must be kind of amazing looking back on a time like that. Yeah, um, it's, it's a, a lot can change from then to now. Um, you can tell the big difference on just character, the music, the beat selection, um, the entourage, um, like everything has changed from that, that point, but that's where it started from. Like, that's where I get my motivation from. At that point in your life, do you remember, like, what were you picturing your future might be at that point? I'm sure your ambitions and your goals have changed over time, but in 2013, like, what did Dirk want to be? Um, honestly, I, 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 I didn't even have a, a direction. I can't even have a goal. Like, I, I didn't know, like, I'd be like a real rap, a real artist, like, I'd be doing arenas and festivals and stuff like that. So at that time, I was just doing it just on some local, I got the trenches on lock type stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my vision wasn't as big as I would thought it would be. And when do you feel the vision started to change? Because on Almost Healed, I think one of my favorite bars is you talking about, you know, we knew growing up you didn't have a lot. You've talked about, you know, yeah. having to go without proper food and meals sometimes, your family, and then hearing you on the album talk about being at restaurants that are so bougie, you can't even read what's on the yeah. menu, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, so when did your vision for yourself start to change? So when I had this and what you want, I had to go, I had to turn myself in for three months. I went to jail for three months. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my son while I was in jail, which is like, everything just like changed. And did that change your Yeah, your it mindset? changed my whole vision where it's like, by my father uh, being in jail while I was born, I was seven months. I'm just like, this ain't what I want to do. But I, I still had no goal. I was like, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Then Sosa just came out the, just had the city on fire with the music. Reese had the city on fire. You know what I'm saying? We just followed each other's footsteps and just went from there. You know, you've talked about having people like Swiss Beats as 
mentors. Yeah. And I think, what has that been like for you? I imagine it's life changing in, in some ways because the people that we surround ourselves with, mm. I think it affects our, our path in life, right? There are people you look up to, you learn from, and you see different versions of life that maybe you couldn't imagine as a kid. So what has it been like for you having people like that to guide you? Um, it's important, you know what I'm saying, to have somebody to really just like guide you to the right, to the right place. Because where I'm from is like, they don't really do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Some say ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't a lot of leaders where I'm from. It's like whatever, make money, whatever, the quick money, if it's violence, if it's this, they're gonna get to the money. But like people like Swiss, and like my daddy, um, my mom, and a couple more people in my life, um, it's just like we got something to prove to show them like we're gonna be the difference and we're gonna change the, just the, the world. And you did that and now you're a leader. Yeah, because if you just look at the whole Chicago, it's like everybody doing the same thing. Every, not too many want to change, a lot trying to change, but can't change. Mm -hmm. Cause ain't no way to, you know what I'm saying? So I hope I could be a platform for them. I mean, you definitely are. Yeah. You definitely are a platform for them. And I think that's why, that's why a song like All My Life is so amazing because nothing about it feels forced, right? Yeah. You've been your authentic self this whole time, sharing your life experiences with us. And now we see you at this point where we see how hard you're trying to be better yeah. and to help other kids growing up in Chicago be better. And opening the album with a therapy session was so unexpected, yeah. but so raw. And was it easy for you to do that? I think people coming from black and brown communities, having conversations about mental health and, you know, talking about therapy isn't always easy. It's the same in my family. My mom laughs at me if I mention therapy. Oh, no, it ain't, it ain't hard. It's just, you you got to be yourself. You got to be prepared for you know what I'm saying? Everybody not gonna take on to it like you take it. Everybody ain't gonna take it serious. Mm. Ain't nobody gonna, it's just like your, a career. In the beginning, ain't nobody gonna take you serious until they see you really doing it. You know, what kept you going all those years? You seem like a person, you've been through so much that you just always soldier on, which is like great for the career, not great for the mental sometimes. So like what's kept you going before you got into therapy in like those tough moments? Um, outside of like, just like my family just don't want to be in them same positions I was in. Don't want to be in them environments, stuck in them environments. Don't want to let my people down. Um, the people we lost, it's like we let, I feel like if I stop or like um, fail, if like they didn't pass for nothing, like I look at all that, like everything. And so that sounds like you take on a lot. That's taking on a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. for one person, you know, especially since there's so many things that you can't control. So what has it been like having someone that you can actually like talk to, express all of this stuff in like a, like a judgment-free zone, like Alicia says on the opening? Um, it, feel, it feel good. It feel, it feel normal now. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, it just felt kind of strange, but it feel normal now. You know what I'm saying? I can, just talk and be me. I feel like I can do that anyway. But I feel like the people that you talk to could turn to, to some negative mm -hmm. or they can go tell your business. So it's like, I'd rather, I'd rather do a therapist than just talk to 80 different people about my personal life. Yeah, and I mean, obviously you do that on the records too, right? Like you, you always, you're venting, you're sharing the things that you're going through, but having, yeah, that neutral opinion must be nice. Like, have you been making space in your life to just have fun and, and to enjoy? I imagine with everything that you've been through, having fun, I'm sure, hasn't always been a priority for you over the past few years. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to enjoy it. Peace. Um, fishing? Yeah, fishing. Never thought I would see, yeah. <laughs> see you out First time fishing. fishing. Yeah, caught two fish. Uh, you know, it's just diff doing different things. Like, like you say, you never thought you would see me fishing, but I just do it, just open up people's eyes to show that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's more than just a circle. How do your fans react to things like that? Like, again, 2013 Dirk, we'd have never seen him out here <laughs> ca catching some fish. So yeah. it's like amazing to see that kind of thing, you know? They love it. <laughs> they just love to see me just like interacting, being out. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't usually just um, be out. It's time to hit the crazy carts now. We ready. Which way should we go? <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> out of here. 
Damn, this is how slow you drive usually? Come on, bruh. That was fast, but definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you should always get around. I feel like I'm gonna fall off in. Oh. <laughs> right? It's fire. I'm having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> Yeah, you be working so hard. I don't know how you have time to go out. I mean, bro, you dropped an amazing album yeah, last year, seventy two twenty. Like, how are you back already? Yeah, with I, the full I'm, project? I really like the studio here. Hmm. Like, yeah, I just so much of a fan of music. Like, I just spend all my time doing music. Um, so when you say having fun, when I actually do go have fun, it be like we feel just super good. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? No bad energy. Then do therapy. Then talk to your friends. I got one of my guys, um, like I help all my people around me. Cause it's like, uh, if, I, if I'm, let me give you an example. So if I got my kids right, and one of my guys probably see his kids, but not like that, mm -hmm. it'll motivate him to like, keep his kids around more. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got motivated too, by mine. Family's really important. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not always easy, but you know, have you been able to spend more time with your kids, although, you know, the schedule's so busy? Yeah, way better. Yeah? Way better. Like, it's so important a phone call even, even helps. Because you got some people just don't even call at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, also on the album, we get to hear you touch a little bit on your faith and religion. I didn't know necessarily that you were a religious person. You know, on, on Pelico, which is one of my favorite songs on the album, you talk Thank about you. praying for forgiveness for things you've been through. We've seen a little bit in the video, how does religion help to keep you feeling grounded? It keeps it keeps me sane. Um, it keeps me um, stress free. Stress free. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really look at everything like, oh, he got good luck. He got, you know, what I'm I believe in high power. You know, what I'm saying, as I say, the rug. So we pray on. So, you know, what I'm saying, whatever you believe in, whoever you believe in, it's like if you believe in them and you've been through a lot of stuff in your life and you had a a peaceful place, yeah. going to a happy place, I think you should like get more into your religion. You're right, It's it creates definitely a sense of like community and it helps you make sense of a lot of things in your life that sometimes just seem yeah. impossible and you, yeah. to, to process, right? It seems like you've been working hard on just finding ways to be good to yourself over the yeah. past couple I've of years. I've just been finding, find, finding ways to see who I am you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you say back then, you wouldn't imagine me fishing. I couldn't imagine it either. But now I'm like, okay, let me try it. It's good, it's peaceful for like therapy. Is there anything else you haven't posted that you've been doing? Cause I've been wondering, I was like, almost heal. Has Dirk out here <laughs> been hiking? Are you like secretly in the woods, like meditating on the weekends kind of thing? I did, I did a hike with Amiri. Uh, spent some downtime, turned to Swiss. Um, getting the family together looking into some investments. I've been just locked in, because you know, isn't that a distraction? Mm -hmm. So I like, it's a point in time I delete my apps off the phone and just stay focused. Does it feel good to be off social media for a while? Asking from someone like me, who I hate being on social, yeah, period. Hate. So it's like, it's peaceful to, to take a break, right? Yeah. For me, it definitely is, because it's like, it's a lot going on at once if you're trying to continue to just focus on your goal. Yeah, focusing on family, you're focusing on music. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the business. So you mentioned that you're looking into investments. I'm kind of a junkie for stuff like that, trying yeah. to figure out like stocks and real estate and all this. It's like all that stuff that I feel like they should have taught us growing up, just yeah. sort of like basic money management that you have to kind of figure out on your own. How has it been for you navigating that space? Everything is way better, like way better. Like it was to a point where, um, I was spending more than I was making. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I had to just like lock in and just become a man, basically. Ask questions, don't be scared to ask questions about investments, about credit. I'm just like open to it now, like whatever I wanna, whatever's on my mind, I just ask. That makes sense, you gotta learn all that stuff. And I think then you spend all that knowledge again, back to kids, I know you have your, your nonprofit, you have uh, the endowment fund where you just paid for a couple kids yep. to go to school on a full scholarship, stuff like that is amazing. It must feel good. I think growing up, you know, grew up in Flatbush in Brooklyn, sometimes you kind of feel like you're at the mercy of 
your city, yeah. it must feel nice for you now to be in a space where you can have conversations with the mayor, right, about yeah. things that you want to change. Like, what has that been like for you? Um, I've always been that type of guy, though. I've always been, like, good-hearted, like, that type of person. So the people around me, I know, um, personally. So the people who don't know about it, it'd be like, oh, you bad. It's just like, I'm a good-hearted, cool guy. You know what I'm saying? So doing what we did for the school was, like, heart-touching for me. Cause I'm like, we definitely ain't had nobody to do it for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we ain't had no leaders around. And the so-called leaders we had around us led us wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's super blessed to even bless somebody. It's amazing to use your platform for that. And yeah. this bag actually right here is from the All My Life video, right? And you guys yep. are gonna auction it off? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna give it away to some fans. You know, just do different things that, that you don't see people do nowadays, like in hip hop. Cause a lot of people, Sometimes it'd be like a roller coaster with it. It'd be like, it get boring. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes it'd be exciting, then it get boring and exciting. So I just try to focus on our fans. Instead of trying to just make everybody happy, I'd be like, okay, we're gonna do Dirk fans and make sure Dirk fans is happy. I wondered if you would ever consider, like if you went back to school just for fun, like one day I want to get my PhD in nothing important, just literature or something just for fun, like what would Dirk study in college? Like engineering, it would be something super random probably. Space. I like it. <laughs> Astronomy, I've always wanted to be an astronaut, but that's yeah. not like a real. I would, I would look, I used to always look up, try to see UFOs and all that type of stuff too. Astronomy would be dope. You feel like you have the stomach though to be like, on a shuttle, I get super car sick, so I feel like takeoff would be rough for me. Uh, you got it from New York, so you should be good. <laughs> All right, Dirk the <laughs> Astronomist, I would, I would love to see that. Yo, you have nice form. I uh, tried earlier, I got nothing. You see the layup. Great, thanks. It's gonna make me look stupid now. <sighs> yep, <laughs> got nothing. Maybe I gotta take the blazer off for this one. You got any tips for me? I haven't played basketball since high school. It's been a minute. Close your eyes and go for the win. Close, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible advice. Might as well have closed my eyes for that one. What was the starting point for you recording Almost Healed? Since you said you're like kind of a studio rat, I'm sure you're recording all the time, but was there a song that you worked on that made you feel like that was kind of the beginning of the album? It was just the phase I was in. Uh, the type of music I was making. Mm -hmm. And then we were just having a conversation, almost healed, just popped up in the conversation. I'm like, man, that's what I'm gonna name the album. And we just went along like with that with that line. What were the first couple of songs that you recorded? I think Pelico was one of them. Uh, I, don't, it, I can't tell you in a row, but I know at this time we was on a roller coaster of um, like the Pelico, then we, come to the studio, up tempo, then we might go down tempo, then yeah. we might be in our feelings that, I mean, me, I might be in my feelings, then go make like sad songs, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's cool about the album. So I think some people may be going into it with a title like Almost Healed, might think, oh man, Dirk's about to be crazy introspective for this entire album, but it's actually kind of the opposite, right? There are yeah, a couple it's like of songs. A roller coaster. Yeah, it's very much a roller coaster. There are a couple of songs where you're introspective. There's a couple of songs where we're just getting like the Dirk that day one fans mm -hmm. know and love. So yeah, we definitely go through like a roller coaster of of emotions on the album. And is that how you wanted it to be? Because you could have, if you wanted, yeah. you have yeah. the talent, you know yeah. that you have the skill <laughs> to make a fully introspective album. But do you feel like that would have been just too much and not authentic to you. Yeah, I want to do, I want to do um, what felt good to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to just stay in one lane, stay in one box and just focus on one thing. I just want to be a roller coaster to like stay off social media so the fan can just wonder like, what type of music you can drop. You know, over your last few projects, we've definitely, I feel like we see and hear the growth more and more. Do you feel like there's a project for you that is kind of a turning point? You're eight albums in right now and what, 10, 12 mixtapes, you made a lot of projects. Yeah. Is there any moment looking back on your projects where you feel like you start to like see a change in yourself? Oh, I, I was really just making the music, but the turning point really was like uh, Sounds of the Streets 2. I know. That was just because you waited. Hmm. That's when I felt the difference um, from the shows. Like we used to go into the shows, it was like super dry. I'm like, man, I gotta lock in. <laughs> Because it was like I had no substance to the music we were making at the time. Hmm. Like, we were just making music just to make music. Like I said, we had no goal. Yeah. 
then when I just found my niche, it was like pain, like just being the voice of the, of the street. So it was like, I found my lane, I'm gonna keep going with it. You're running with that lane. It's so funny for someone who, you know, very much a part of the drill, the drill movement. Again, to see how far you've come that you can make this like anthemic, but still thoughtful hit with J. Cole. Like, I don't know if, cause it's all, it's happening and you're very much in it. Yeah. If you really take the time to think about how remarkable that is. But I know it's something that your day one fans like notice and hopefully point out to you. Yeah. The J. Cole uh, feature was definitely like unexpected for my fans. Was it unexpected for you? Because I think me and your fans, we could talk about all the things we love about it, but. Yeah, um, so. I'm curious just how you, how like you feel sitting back and like listening to that record. No, he, he went, Super crazy, um, and it's so crazy because we we've been talking for like two years. Really? He, yeah, he always like send me a record, and I'm like, I gotta find the right record. Like, <laughs> <laughs> for two years you've been trying to find the right record. Yeah, and I'm glad I waited two years. <laughs> In my eyes, he's a legend. If you if you have a chance to do a song with a legend, it'd be like if you send him something just to send it, just right. to say you got one, or you are gonna make it stick. So that's why I never just sent him a record because I'm like, I want something that's gonna stick. It's stuck. Yeah, as soon as I did the record, he's the first person popped in my head. I'm like, I got it. This is the one. Yep. We found it. Got it. It's funny how life works like that. Like, the timing just lines up, like, Yeah, perfectly. so I believe in timing. Timing is everything. It is, and a lot of people don't understand that, and they, they try to rush things, or they're impatient. A lot of people want things right now, but for you, I feel like you've been very much playing this long game, which is dope, because now you're at a point in your career where no one can take anything away from you because you've yep. just been building it brick yep. by brick. Timing is everything. Like I feel, it's like I be knowing it. Like I know the right time to put out a, like a turn up slide song or a female song or just like a up tempo song. It's like, you can't rush the music. You usually got to sit back and really just like watch and be like a student to it. Have you always trusted your instincts? For some people it takes a long time to to learn sorting through the emotions and the instincts, because they're different. Yes, I really started with like, my. it started like with life first. Mm. Like I started trusting my instinct through life, like not no go outside today, or then it just started building. So the type of music I make, it'd be like, no, nah, I ain't gonna say that, I'm gonna say this, or I'm gonna change the tempo, I'm gonna change this beat up. I don't wanna say this, I don't wanna disrespect this, I don't wanna like, so it's like, I, I just feel like, I control myself now mm -hmm. instead of everybody around me controlling me. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, one of the hardest things I've realized about growth and just growing up in general, it's like a lot of people that you love and you care for can't necessarily grow with you and that can be really painful, Yeah. you know, but sometimes you just have to make those changes for yourself. Like, have you had to make big changes in super, like your surroundings yeah. and the people around you to get where you're at? Yeah, super changes. From every angle, every direction. Because hmm. people, some people don't want to grow. And some people want to grow, don't know how. And we'll grow together. Or some people just get left behind. Yeah. And at this point, so now that we, you mentioned that early, you didn't necessarily know what the goals were, what the directions were. But at this point, the instincts are strong. Yeah. Are we setting goals now? Like, are you planning things out? Like, are yeah. you seeing what you want for the next five and 10 years? Yeah, I got some crazy ideas. Anything you want to share with us or too crazy? Nah, I can't give them the sauce up. Okay. <laughs> but but I, I definitely got some crazy ideas that's going to just next level everything. I don't think nobody never did yet. Okay. In our generation. I'm excited yeah. to see. I mean, you got the support. So you mentioned that for you working with Cole was dope because he's a legend. I mean, Laugh Now, Cry Later with Drake was like huge. Like. Him. We're doing arenas this year. We got a big yeah, tour coming we got, up. Yeah. We were just talking about Dirk's trying to get in shape. Tell me more. I, I need the people to hear about you working with the, the personal trainer. Because I think some, some like I've been to a million shows mm. and I don't go out as often these days. Because sometimes you just go to shows and you can tell like the artist is putting no energy or thought into it. They're just kind of up on stage going through the motions. Going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why do I need to leave the house and stand and yeah. wait for two hours for this? But, yeah. So tell me, why is it important for you to like you know, work with a trainer and put that kind of energy into your shows. This part of my growth, like this part of my change as well. You know what I'm saying? We, um, the last tour I did, um, we started to get the groove. 
But now this tour, I got a, I got a great a new team around me, a great team, a creative team. That's like we're gonna give the fans like a super show that meet. I'll come out my comfort zone with. Out of your comfort zone, if I see yeah. you up there doing full choreography with nah, your shirt yeah. off, I'm gonna be in tears. See, yeah, but like some people ain't gonna respect, some people might do. <laughs> okay, so Never it might. <laughs> so it might happen. And have you still been, the album has barely been out for a couple of weeks, but have you still been recording? Are you planning to re release more music again soon? Well, I've really just been uh, focused on, like I said, investing in the family. Uh, if you ask me, I be I feel like Deluxe already done. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah. it is. But uh, it just being creative with it. Like, who can I put on that now to yeah. be unexpected? Like, it's, it become like a game now, like, how they ain't gonna expect this. I should have come with a list of guesses. Yeah, I know you and Morgan Mullen worked together on the last album. Yeah, And you guys Morgan collaborated Mullen. again. Yeah, I mean, you working with a country singer. Yeah. Again, 2013, Dirk, could have never seen that one coming. Yeah. So, like, I don't I have no guesses, I guess, like, who could it be next? But, you know, when you do collaborations like that, do you feel, is it challenging for you in a way, like, stepping out of your comfort zone like that? Like, what, is, what are those sessions like? I feel like I've always been that type of artist, though. So if if it feel comfortable, because during the drill era, it was like, they used to always be like, why you sing? Or why you harmonize? And I'm like, it just had rap. So that's why when it be like drill, I definitely like the era, for sure. But I just never looked at myself like a drill artist at first. Like, I never did. What are you planning on doing after the tour? I'm going to try some acting. Really? Yeah, I'm trying some acting. Interesting. Are we trying to do TV or are we trying to do film? I was some on my sleeve. Really? Yeah. Have you been like working with an acting coach or are you just about to jump right in? I've been working with one. Um, he actually, uh, Will Smith, acting coach. During the album time, it'd be kind of, the schedule would be kind of hard, but yeah. since the album out, it's like I'm back on it. So Lil Durk, the actor, uh, the astronomist, we got a lot of things to do. Yeah, we got a lot, we got a lot of work to do. Yo, it's amazing to just watch you grow over the years and you seem like you're in a better mental space right now, which is really great. Hope you stay there and, and stay focused, you know? Congrats on the album. Appreciate it. And uh, look, I really want to ride these little crazy carts or see you shoot some hoops or something. We didn't come to this space to just sit here, right? No. All right, good. <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta go do something. Let's do it. I decided I had to finish, but the media called me a menace. See? See? Finally, all right, you're up. Leave me yourself. You can't blame my past no more. I come from the trenches. Some said I'd never be a superstar, but I know I'm different. I'm a voice. But the that was it. <laughs> People that still undeployed. I know a fellow who's trying to get forward. You looking too comfortable now. Yeah, I'm thirsty now. You should have taught me how to do it. Amazing. To check out more of my conversation with Lil Dirk, look for the full interview right now on Apple Music.